y'all welcome back to my channel i'm tier shanice today's wig review is going to be on arabella's hair today i received a 5x5 jerry curly wig this wig is in the length a 22 inch wig it is a closure wig and i'm just going to go and tell y'all the full details of this wig so let's keep watching so today's wig is a closure wig and today's video i am going to install this wig as a glueless method because i want everyone to see exactly how you can install a closure wig as glueless and with it being so versatile with this wig being a five by five you can part it any way you want you can part it in the middle you can also part it on both sides and you could also do a half up half down if you wanted to with this wig this wig does come pre-plugged but of course i do go back and plug it some more and it also did not come with the knots bleached so i did go ahead and bleach the knots with it being a glueless method i would not be using any glue usually i use typical erica j but i am just going to use hairspray to install this wig today i did pre-plug i did go ahead and pluck the wig some more as with it being pre-plugged um i did pluck it to more with my own liking i installed it i have my cap on and i'm just going to basically style it however i want again this is a five by five so the parting space is really good it does go from temple to temple and it does go to about the middle of my head with this being a ready to go wig this wig does have a transparent lace so transparent lace does have a more ashier effect to it versus HD. HD will blend with any type of skin type. So with it being transparent, I did go back with my loose powder foundation. I noticed I like loose, using powder before I actually melt it. You can use a cream foundation, but go over it with a powder. I see that it helps a lot more with blending. So I do go over it with powder before I actually spray anything down. Of course, you know, I live for baby hairs. I have to add my baby hairs when installing this. Typically, I use do a side part, but today I will do a middle part for the sake of this video. This shit was all I know. You and me only. I did it all for you. Still you alone. We could have worked it all. But I guess things change. It's funny how someone. So the only items I will be using today to install this wig will be the Even Hairspray Black Can, the Got To Be Glue Wax Spray, just my hot comb. I will be using water and as my leave-in conditioner, I will be using my L. My L is like a curl smoothie that I'm using. Usually I use can too, but the closest thing I have right now is the My L, so I will be using that today. This hair gets very flat. I know it's really good to have really a flat foundation, but this hair gets really flat at the top. At the top, You don't have to worry about it being lumpy and bumpy at the top. It gets very, very flat. It holds water so good compared to most companies. Um, usually it takes a long time for the water to kind of like stick to the hair but water just basically soaks all this water up and just sits and settles so it didn't take me long to spray this hair for it to get wet um it was really kind of straight to the point and it really got soaked very fast so once i spray my even hairspray on my hairline that's when i use my arabella hair wrap that comes with every order i go ahead and tie it down and i spray it fully like drenched but not too drenched just enough where it's soaked but not dripping i spray it and then i go in with my my l rub it through and throughout and just rake it through the curls
I do want to mention with this wig, it does have minimum shedding. It doesn't really tangle as much. It does just have minimum tangling as well. It doesn't really mat up at all, but it does have like just minimum tangling with it. I don't know if it's just because of length because again, it is only 22 inches. So it's not that big of a deal if it does tangle because you can easily comb it out versus if it was really, really long. So because it's only about chest length, it doesn't really tangle as much. Also with the lace on it, it does have a regular, basically a regular size lace. Like it's not thin, but it's also not thick. So it may look a little bit darker since it is transparent, but it is transparent, but the lace is just not super thin. So after I did wet the hair and everything, it was a little too wet, but not too wet because I did like the wet look. I did want to go in with my blow dryer and diffuse my curls to add a little bit more volume to it. So what I do, if you don't have a diffuser on your blow dryer like me, you're going to just take it upside down and you're going to take your hand and scrunch up and that is going to diffuse and form the curls to give that nice curly pattern and your hair is very moisturized and um, has a lot more life to it from the beginning. Look at me, where she wanna be Call me Ficky T, off the leash I feel like a dog, I get her the flea Keep it pee, never needed you But you needed me I got cream, make a pretty clean Boost your self-esteem I, I get tucked in the road So I feel like Baby King Was this black, it's the boss for it So I dress like Baby D Put your coat so after moisturizing his hair, of course, his hair looks gorgeous. I did um, receive like that natural shine. The curls look nice and luscious. If you haven't tried diffusing your curls after you wet it, you should most definitely try it so you can get it back looking full in a natural state. And this is how the hair looks on me. Again, this is 22 inches. With it being curly, it does go to about mid back. The hair does appear to look like it's a layer effect, but I'm pretty sure it is all one length. But it has a good length to it. It is very full once you diffuse it. And the curl pattern is curly all the way down to the ends. It doesn't look too stringy at the ends, and it doesn't go straight at the ends, but it does have a nice curl at the end. But overall, this hair has been keeping up with me. Again, it is a closure wig, so I do pop it on and off at night, and that helps me take care of it more. I have been wearing it in a glueless method, so whenever I need to get ready and go, I can just prop this wig on and go without any kind of hassle, without it having to move in any type of way. I do also want to mention that I didn't mention earlier is that this wig does have combs at the top of it, but it does not have a comb at the very bottom. Now that can be a pro and a con. So with it being a pro, you don't have any irritation at the back of your head. It is very, very, very comfortable to wear. Um, that's why I loved wearing this wig. It was very comfortable, um, but it can also be a con as well because sometimes people need that extra protection but you can always add an elastic band if you needed any kind of security but i do like the fact that it didn't have a comb because i didn't want nothing hurt in the back of my head but it didn't move it fit perfectly on my head so with it not having a comb i didn't have no problem with the wig coming off it was not falling off it was not coming off because again you still got the two combs at the very top
Let's go.